Welcome to Data Cycle Reporting. In this tutorial, we're going to connect to a Microsoft Excel file as a data source. This is a very typical way to build a fast prototype when you don't have a database set up yet or when you just want to experiment with something new. Let's get started. My Excel file called Sales Budget has four columns, employee, category name, order month, and sum of revenue on a single worksheet called Budget. Okay, let's close the Excel file and go back to data cycle reporting. I click on my databases folder and then right click and select new database. I need to give it a name and I will tell data cycle reporting that it's an Excel file. I select the Excel icon and then I will point to the file and make the connection. Everything's working fine. And close the window. Now I need to import the entities associated with the Excel file. And there is just the one, the single worksheet called Budget. You can learn more about entities in the online documentation. Now I want to take a closer look at my connection. And I see that all of my columns are there, employee, category name, order month, and sum of revenue. Finally, as a last step, I just want to confirm the connection by pulling a sample of rows from the Excel file. And it looks great. Everything is working perfectly. In this tutorial, we've seen that it is fast and simple to connect to an Excel file as a data source. With this feature, Data Cycle Reporting makes it easy to get started building reports and dashboards even before your relational database is set up. To learn more, be sure to check out all of the Data Cycle Reporting videos.